Hey there, it's Mark. Happy 2020 to you. I'm going to be unboxing this 2020 D case assortment from Hot Wheels. These are the USA long cards. By the way, if you notice the uh, background, it looks like I'm uh, in my studio. But the truth is, studio's gone. I'm now filming at home. Now over there, <laughs> over there, I still have track time on the left. I have, I have a light right here. I'll just cover it so it doesn't affect the camera. I have another light squeezed in, not that one, that's the room light. I have my professional light right there on the left. Over here, going to have track time. So I definitely had to leave area set up for track time. Got to, got to, I'll be doing all, I'll be keeping up with the track time channel. It definitely will be a focus of mine in my future. Thank you very much for subscribing to the track time channel. That's, uh, that's where you have fun. They're toy cars, that's where you have fun with them, right? This video here on race grooves, this is uh, more like collectibles, but I will definitely be having some uh, track set reviews. You have them right there, track set reviews. I have a separate channel for marble grooves. Love that, grab a tracks. As a matter of fact, behind here, uh, just like in the uh, studio when I was over in the warehouse, I had this table here for Mr. Grooves or unboxing tables. And actually behind here, I have another table set up Let's see. Yeah, see right there? That's a, that's my other table. That one is going to be for marble grooves. So I have a dedicated area. Thank you. Subscribe to the channels that you like. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Here we go. Hot Wheels 2020 D case assortment. Yes, case unboxing videos are going to continue on race grooves. Even though my collectibles videos are on Mr. Grooves. That's what that channel focuses on. Race Grooves is going to have a lot more uh, track set reviews, play sets, and lots of other fun stuff. So even though the case unboxing videos are staying here, uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff for kids. So if you like to collect, then uh, subscribe to Mr. Grooves as well. Here we go. You know, there's uh, normally about three new models. Uh, in the case assortments last month there was four actually this time there's three back to normal here you have poison arrow hot wheels fantasy jet that uh, turbine prop in the in the back does turn here you have jeepster commando 67 jeepster commando and that was a super treasure hunt in the last assortment if you get one that's kind of a uh, metallic green color and it'll say 25 th 25th for the 25th anniversary of hot wheels treasure hunt i love that the 64 chevy impala is back yes it's tuned it's the tuned version of the 64 chevy impala really really great color and i just i just like the blown engine and i like how beefy it looks great release and if you don't like it, you know, to each their own, that's the deal. You can't, you don't have to like every car, all right? 92 Ford Mustang, part of the Art Car Series. Here you have Custom 01 Acura Integra, GSR. Now, some of these were in the last case, the C case, and they do carry over. Porsche 918 Spider. I'm trying to recall if that was a super treasure hunt this year. As a matter of fact, that is the super treasure hunt for this case, except uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be this kind of color. It's going to be more of a metallic blue. And I don't know. Uh, usually, uh, usually it would be in the corner if I got one, but sometimes they sneak it on the bottom. They sneak it in the middle. So we got to look. Buns of steel, fun model. Buns of steel, not buns of plastic. He used to have big exhaust pipes in the back. Look, as a matter of fact, look, it's still on the card. Big metal exhaust pipes. Uh, not no more. Ah, so fun stuff. And then, of course, if you like basic treasure hunts, check it out. Circle Flame logo. Yeah, this is a basic treasure hunt. It's only going to be in the D case. It's not going to carry over if there's a Buns of Steel basic treasure hunt. Basically, it's the D case basic treasure hunt. Uh, the E case F will have different treasure hunts. So it's cool to get this one. Let's see what else do we have. Street Stealth. And we have another sample of the 64 Chevy Impala. 70, 
Ford Escort RS1600. And check out that black gloss black. You have a Honda 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Oops, I was off camera, sorry. 2018 Honda Type R. And licensed models tend to get uh, graphics for the rear. You got your taillights and front end decorations. You have your uh, Honda logo as well as headlights printed. Here you have Radical Racer. Yeah, I used to have another name before. Mm, I don't have to tell you. You're a collector. You already know. Or do you? 65 Ford Mustang Convertible. Maybe you're a new collector and you don't know it had a different name before. I'm sure somebody will post it. 65 Ford Mustang Convertible. Now this one is uh, from Thunderball 007. Whoa, look at that one. Not the Bugatti Veyron. You have the 16 Bugatti Chiron. Two? No, I just one. Really nice signature swoop right there. Very nice. This one, uh, I don't notice, has a grill in the back. But side decorations and front decorations. So those are the two. Very nice. Look how the swoop comes around and lines up with the grill. Uh, you get two sides. So they got the, uh, the sides are the one print. Front is the second, and that's the two prints that they generally can do with basic cars. Aston Martin Vulcan. Some people didn't like the green color when it first came out, but I thought it looked fantastic. I really like the Vulcan. Pretty cool. I did like that color. Love that color before. This one's nice. You got some nice, like, racing stripes on it. Very unique. I cannot think of another model that kind of had, like, a pinstri pinstripe along the base pinstripe along the top top edge of the metal part it's pretty unique as far as hot wheels printing goes let's see i like to pull out three at a time because they're packed three at a time robo race robo car kind of looks like a dumbbell but <laughs> you ready let's do, let's do some pull-ups or uh lifts mm, curls yeah curls anyways uh, another nice decoration for this car. It's a it's a real car. Well, kind of Robo Race. Uh, it's it, it technically is a real car, I guess, huh? Cloak and daggers back. Wow, check out those fangs. Got some nice decorations on there. And this one, uh, it does look like you. It's called cloak and dagger because uh, the cloak, that green part, is a cloak. And look, you can still pop it off. You can. Squeeze the body off. You can see right through it. And here we have Diora 3. Uh, see, this looks better. When it first was released last year, it all the colors kind of blended together. Uh, when they make them distinct colors, I think it's a little better. We'll, we'll forget about the fact that it doesn't have a windshield like all the other Dioras. We just won't look at that part. But, uh, you know. You're going to be eating a lot of bugs if you're driving this one. What's the base code? Let's see. This case manufactured M40, 40th week of 2018. So it was manufactured last year, and it's just now hitting uh, stores. Or was just not produced. Is this a three? Uh, yeah, three of them. There's usually not three, which always makes you wonder if there's funny business. Here you have a D-case code, and these are the English packages, right? So we get the last code right here is D, and it was the D-case if you see me when I unbox it. So this one's a D-code. This one's a D-code. You don't typically get three, but hey, it happens. There you go, D-code. So for, the, so for some of you observant people who think that something happened, uh, I, don't, I don't blame you, but... Uh, looks like they were manufactured for this case. Here you have Cruise Bruiser. Yeah, that's a gasser style. Uh, really taken off. Are you enjoying collecting the gasser style models? The 64 wagon, the Bel Air gasser. Cruise Bruiser is a fantasy gasser. Has the uh, straight solid axle in the front. Blown engine. No windows. Don't need windows when you're racing. You don't want to. You don't want to crash and then uh, have all that glass come at you. Of course, it could be plexiglass, but you know. 
Here you have the Alpine, or Alpine, if you want to say it. Alpine Auto, no, A110 Cup. Get a close-up of the graphics. I like this right here. Mm, reminds me of a video game. Mm, I forget which one. No tail light decorations. Does have the uh, side and the top. And see the top, they can squeeze the uh, headlight decorations in the same print. So it looks great. It's almost the same color, isn't it, as the uh, first release? Or is this a different car? No, this is this is uh, this is not a new model. Because in the USA, it would say right here, 2020 new model. Matter of fact, I don't think there's any fantasy. I don't think there's any licensed new models in this case. Uh, there's going to be three, I believe, and they're all fantasy. This is a carryover. From the last case volvo 850 estate a lot of people like seeing this in the mix and if it, if you're in the usa you, you would say hey that looks like a station wagon yeah well in the usa we would call it a wagon or station wagon and over there in uh, europe they call wagons estates so it's just a regional thing hey we can see in the back lights pretty good so we have a right hand steering Oh, that's interesting, right-hand steering. It's not a uh, Japanese model, so I guess uh, Volvo is a German. Uh-oh, I'm getting into trouble. Uh, German, right-hand drive, interesting. In the back, looks like we have a spare tire. And pretty good printing. Sides, top, nothing in the rear, nothing in the front. That's a uh, separate piece. Uh, they have the uh, interior, it looks like. That interior looks like it provides this stripe right here. It's the same color. One piece right here, come around, and in the middle of the grill. Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica in this burgundy color. I like it. I like it a lot. We have not hit a new model yet when, uh, uh, on the USA packages. They'll have a little info here too, so I'll show you that when I hit a new model. Twin mail Generation E in green. It was available in the last case. Rockin' Santa Sled, that's a new model. There you go. New for 2020. It was in the last case, but I'll show you on the back real quick. And here you have the uh, super van. People love to collect the super van, especially if you like to uh, repaint it. Look at all that area for you to do graphics. So uh, customizers do like to pick up the super vans, even if they have uh, red windows. That's just the way it goes. And this is a new model, like I said, in the last assortment. Maybe you missed my video. So look, uh, when you drive Santa Rocks. But that's what it says on the back of the package for English cards. Here we have Head Starter. Not a new model. Is this a, is this a moving one too? I don't remember. I, can't, I don't think so. What do we have here? Forward Force, that's a new model. There you go, my thumb was right in the way. New for 2020, first color, first release, shows up in the D case. And we already took a look at the Vulcan. We'll just peek real quick just to see if there's uh, any variations, any errors. Uh, no loops, <laughs> it, has, it has that low front end or splitter. That's not gonna do loops. Let's see, Forward Force. New for 2020, best for the track. Got the track logo on there. And when they show the loop, that means it should not have a uh, low front end or splitter. So this way, when it goes through the loop right there, there's nothing dragging. Shouldn't have anything in the back. You see, nice curve to go through the loop. Let's read the back real quick. Forward force from the interior details, visible through the clear canopy to the electric motor that powers it. This dynamo energizes the track with performance and style. Track stars. So let's see. Yeah, now, by the way, that's not a circle flame logo. Circle, right? It's that loop symbol. So it's like a, a track loop symbol. But you can see it has a see-through top, clear top or X racers. So you can, I'm sure you'll see it in the X racers lines in the future or series segments. This is definitely good for the track. Nice pocket size uh, the, for boosters. Look how it has uh, this line right here. So it should work pretty good in the boosters too. I like that racing deco on top. 
So that was one new model. We have two more to look for. Riser Dodger, a lot of collectors liking the steampunk decoration. And I'm with them. Look at all those graphics. It looks very cool. I like it. Here we have, wow. <laughs> Look at all those. Dude, that's a lot of graphics for you. Tank Nader. You can put a figure right there. And as you can see, the uh, turret's kind of twisted. So you can move the turret around. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty good graphics for you, dude. How'd they all of a sudden decide to give you a lot of graphics? And look at the color. It's kind of like a metallic paint. you got a special treatment. Uh, great car. Well, it's not a car. It's a tank. Oh, yeah. People like this, too. You have your camouflage. 68 Chevy Nova. Do we have a... Well, that's okay. It's a dollar toy, right? 68 Nova. It's been in the mix a couple cases already. D case assortment. So it was intended to be re-released. But sometimes you'll find the other cars, uh, you know, what? I, I don't know. I don't work at Mattel, I don't know. Don't work in a factory either. Eight Crate. This showed up last month. Or I shouldn't say month because they're actually released about every three weeks. So it's not technically a month-by-month -month assortment. Eight Crate. Uh, so this one returned last month. That's an older car. Took a long break and now it's back. 2018 Ford Mustang GT. And you have another twin mill gene. Let's see what do we have here. Hey, look, they uh, put support in the corner right here. They, they don't, uh, they kind of stopped doing that for a while. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because the package, the blister packs weren't, uh, it's hard for me to say. Here's another Chiron. The deal is when, you, when they pack the cases, this doesn't take a lot of space. So maybe they have a lot of blisters that are like this size. Not like Tank Nader, which is like a look a huge blister. Maybe maybe there's a lot of cars that don't have a big blister, so they had to put in some padding to keep this nice and uh, nice and tight, uh, reduce shaking. We already seen the other one. Well, we'll go ahead and take a look real quick. Uh, it does have a metallic paint job, by the way. It is just it's hard to see through the blister. And I, for a while, I had started doing follow-up videos on Mr. Groose. Uh, did that Sharon came from this spot right here? Mm, yes, apparently, I think so. Anyways, Surf and Turf. This one could be a tuned model. <laughs> it is a tuned model. Big blown engine. It only has decorations on uh, the side. Here we have another Astro, not Astro Van. The Super Van. Astro Van. Jada used to do the Astro Van. 68 Chevy Nova, another 8 Crate. And Skull Shaker. This one is one that moves if you roll it. BMW K 1300R. I have enough colors, but thank you very much. Here we have Manga Turner. Turner. Manga Tuner, that's a new model. And here we have another Roger Dodger. New model, second new model to the case. My pile is filing over. New for 2020. You can pause it if you'd like to read that. And you know the manga style, they take cars and they like to do wacky things to them, especially over there in Japan. I guess that's really where it's, uh, it's, where it's probably started. But uh, anyways. What do you think? What do you think? This is typical long, huge, not huge necessarily, but long, skinny exhaust pipes. Very typical of manga tuners. Uh, 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 forgot the name. Anyways, by the way, there's going to be one of the uh, truck and transporters that has a cab. It looks like it would go perfect with this. That's funny. It's not manga. I forgot the name of that uh, that style. Hmm. Anyways, forward force because manga is like a cartoon, a comic, right? Another forward force. Head starter. And '68 Dodge Dart. Dodge are spin out already. Here you have the Volvo 850 Estate. 
96 Porsche Carrera. Just, I think this was in the last mix too. Nice gloss black. There you have your uh, tail light decorations. Carrera in the center, badging, silver headlights. And 2008 Lancer Evolution. A carryover from the last case again. Rip Rod, welcome back, Rip Rod. He was part of Team Hot Wheels. Originally released in black and red, actually, I think. Nice to see you back. 2018 Ford Mustang GT. I think I already had one of those. Oh, there's a new model right there. Speed Driver. 2018 new model. 2020 new model. Speed Driver. You know, I'm stuck. I can't, it's not, I can't think of the name of that style. But anyways, Speed Driver. So it's going to be like Tool again. We have another Tool in the lineup. So you got a little wrench. I wonder what else you have right there. It looks like a hex. Uh, a, mm, 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 it's a hex nut. Hex tool. Metal base. Definitely going to be a track car. M38 on the base of this one. What's the other one? M40? I'm looking at a bunch of steel. M40. Sometimes treasure hunts and definitely super treasure hunts. They get manufactured at a different time. So this one, a uh, uh, different week. Not uncommon. Uh, not uncommon. It's actually very, very common. Okay, try, try. It's right on the line. M38. See, look at this new model. M40. So I think pretty much the, the case is uh, M40. M40 on this one. Let's see. Uh, kind of looks like a fire hydrant. Kind of looks like a fire hydrant, I think. It's called Speed Driver. Oh, what is that? Looks like an axle cap. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's very interesting. Maybe that's your the workman's uh, the mechanic's alley where you're hanging out underneath the car to repair it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, by the way, so here's the thing. They do show on the back the parts that you can use. Uh, it looks like right there. That's the bottom. That's this. And then that picture is too small. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Here we go. Sometimes you need a little extra torque to bust loose and get everything spinning in the right direction. That's why this speedster is definitely the right tool for the right job. Sorry, I was a little off camera. But uh, I don't understand that. Anyways. Pink and blue wheelie chair. Another Santa, rock and Santa sled. I almost said sleigh. It's not sleigh, it's sled. There's another Alpine A110 cup. Ford Escort RS1600. Already have it in the case. A Moto Wing. It's a newer model. It's not, it has not been around very well. A Moto Wing. So this is like a uh, prop, an airplane's prop right there, right? Oh, no, the wing, sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, interesting. Chrysler Pacifica. Hey, look. Uh, Creative Freedom. Uh, another 65 Ford Mustang convertible. Sealed hood. Back in the day, I uh, used to have an opening hood. Then you have another Lancer Evolution. Another, no, what's this? Raptor. 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. Ford performance decorations. Uh, I wonder how many we're gonna, how many colors we're gonna get of this one. Look at that! Look what they did. Uh, it looks like the paint is cracking, but uh, that's their graphic style. Hey, that's pretty unique. Uh, that's very creative. Mixing it up, offering different things. It's always nice to uh, keeps things fresh when you're collecting, right? How many colors do you think they're gonna release this year? Because when they uh, when they had the, the last year, I mean, it had like, sure seemed like it had three colors. I had to look at the wheels. Look, small wheels. I had to look at the wheels to make sure they were the same wheels. Yep, same wheels. Let's see. Uh, did I, I think that was, uh, I think that's all the new model. Whoa, Nerve Hammer, you're back. Nice. This color, mm -mm. let me tell you, kids love this. It's a great track car. 
and kids are going to love this color. A uh, great pop. It just color just pops. And that is not a Treasure Ant Circle Flame logo. Logo. That's a track logo. They used to put like a track logo on the base, but it was so, it was so tiny that people would ask, "Hey, is that a Treasure Ant logo?" No, it's a loop. It's supposed to be a loop. Beat. Beat all. It looks like a, a beetle. I forgot the. It's not a stag beetle. I looked it up once. But uh, I like it. From the design standpoint, I like it. Here's another one of the Speed Driver. Robo Race Robo Car. Yep. 49 Volkswagen Beetle Pickup and Moon Eyes. Yep. When they, when they have it like an enamel paint like this, it looks good because it fills it out real nice. When it first came out, it was like a, not spectra, like a spectra frost color. It really did not fill in the gaps very well. And even if you, when you get this and you look up close, this ridge right here, it's kind of hard for them to get the paint in there. Uh, but it does pretty good with this gloss color. Definitely going to pick up a couple extras of that one. Three left in the case. Total disposal was new last month. Cruise Bruiser. Another Porsche. And Total Disposal. It was new last month. Carries over to this month. You can pause this and read it if you'd like. There was no Super Treasure Hunt. If it was, if there was going to be one, it would have been the 918 Spider. No such luck, but that's okay. The Super Treasure Hunts are supposed to be hard to find. Anyways, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. And hey, tell a friend. And if you like any of my other channels, subscribe to those too. Happy collecting and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.